Hello again, divers. This is Alec Pierce from Scuba 2000 with another tech tip. Some ideas, things that aren't in the book that maybe will make your scuba diving a little safer, but uh, a lot more fun. That's what I'm hoping for. Today we want to talk about the safe second, the octopus, the alternate air source. Depending on where you took your training courses and what your instructor taught you, it may have different names. Basically, what it amounts to is another second stage. Why do we want two second stages? When I started diving in the 50s, this was a regulator. And the mouthpiece went in your mouth. There was no LP hose. There was no pressure gaze. There certainly was no octopus. Well, there were octopuses, but we ate them. If my buddy had a problem, we were trained to take this out of our mouths and give it to our buddy. You can see it was a bit of a problem. The hoses are short. And it's just, it was a real problem. We practiced hour after hour. We practiced what was called buddy breathing. I gave air to my buddy. <clears throat> It was such a nuisance that I pretty quickly learned to choose my buddies very carefully. If my buddy needed air, that's the last time I dove with him. A little later, somebody came up with this great idea. When single hose regulators became more popular, this was the second stage, went into your mouth. And while initially <clears throat> with single hose regulators, the same practice was employed. You would take the single hose at the second stage and hand it to your buddy see he could breathe. Pretty quickly, somebody came up with this bright idea of having a second, second stage. Another second stage, if you like. So this one stayed in your mouth. This is what you were diving with. This kept you alive. If your buddy had a problem with his regulator or ran out of air, which is really silly, then he would take this one and he could breathe from this. It was really, really nice. I daily kicked my butt, but I didn't think of that first. It would have been a great contribution to the sport of scuba diving. For many years, that's exactly what we had primary regulator and a safe second. The safe second, as you can see, was really just a primary regulator. Sometimes it had some yellow marking on it, a little longer hose to make it convenient, but essentially it was just another second stage attached to the first stage. Now eventually <clears throat> that developed a little bit more itself, and you can see that this second stage, light, small, plastic, also has a long hose. This hose, by the way, is one of those super high flex hoses, makes it very, very light and very, very tough. And this is the kind of second stage is very common today, but really all it is is a, another second stage. Recently, in the last few years, <clears throat> safe seconds or octopuses have taken on a life of their own. So now we actually have purposely built safe seconds. This, you see, is not a standard or a normal second stage. It's skinny. It's flat. That doesn't get much, much to it at all. It's made to be a safe second. So that this safe second, you see, lays flat on your chest. Look at that. It's not big and bulky. Doesn't catch on anything. Hooks on to your to your BC some way. They're nice and bright and yellow, so your buddy can find it and pull it out. He's got a nice long yellow hose, and he can take care of himself. And you're not involved at all in in, in this emergency. That's the way it ought to be. And even more recently, this very latest style of slimline or purpose-built safe second looks like this. These are really very nice. They have a special clip attaches. And instead of it being at an angle, this one you grab, you stick it straight in your mouth. There's no up or down. It can be this way. It can be that way. Upside down doesn't matter. So there's no fumbling in the event of an out-of-air emergency. Your body just grabs it, pulls it off, and sticks it in his mouth and saves himself. So octopuses, safe seconds, alternate air sources, whatever you think, have developed over the years. And this is very, very easy. Now, <clears throat> very important for these devices is how they're used, how they're deployed is what we say. How they attach to the BC, how do you get them off? Let's take a short trip up to the pro shop and I'll show you some of these different devices and how they're attached to the diver and how they can be easy to use in case of that emergency. Let's go to the pro shop for just a minute. Well, there you are. Okay, here we are in the pro shop looking at our uh, some of our scuba sets on display and I wanted to show you uh, how these uh, safe seconds, these octopuses I described earlier, how they're actually deployed, how you actually use them in action. Take a look at this first one here, which is a pretty typical standard safe second. You can see it's uh, it's almost exactly the same uh, as a standard uh, second stage. Painted yellow on a rubber yellow hose, fastens to a clip onto the buoyancy compensator, and it just hangs there where it's supposed to be, in the middle of your chest, in this area here. So your body can find it quickly and easily. Uh, if he has a problem, technically, he can just swim over and grab this and yank on it hard. <laughs> it comes out, he puts it into his mouth, and off he goes. Nice long hose, and uh, you may not even know he's done this. This is the best kind of rescue, the one in which you're not involved. 
and now the two of you have an air supply, he can now tap you on the shoulder, signal up, and up you go. So that's how this standard uh, octopus would work. Now you notice when I pulled it off, that I had to play a little bit. You, you can't get it in this way. You don't want it upside down. You have to turn around like so. It's a little bit of fumbling with that style, and that's why the slim lines have become so very popular the last few years. On this particular set, same idea, but you can see this is a slim line style. It can go in this way, it can go in that way. There's no up or down. Now this particular one comes with a clip on it, and you can use the clip that's with the octopus to snap it onto one of your rings, or there are a variety of uh, other attachments available. A very simple uh, silicone clip like so, attaches to the mouthpiece and goes onto the ring. One that I particularly like <clears throat> also attaches to the mouthpiece, like <clears throat> like so, and, and, and then it has a clip on it, which is kind of handy. So now the clip can go on and off your BC. It just hangs there in front, you see, and you don't want to keep taking this off and on the octopus. You just undo the clip and lift it off. It goes into your bag. And, and if your buddy needs to use that, he just pulls on it, and if he pulls hard enough, it comes off, and he sticks it in his mouth. You see? You notice that? No fumbling. He just takes it up, sticks it in his mouth. It's upside down. Doesn't matter. Works both ways. That's why these are very popular. And then the ultimate, the very newest style, this excellent uh, uh, safe second octopus that we saw here at Skiba 2000, rather exclusively, and uh, uh, other dioscores can have it, maybe they haven't discovered yet, is from Excess Scuba. Just an excellent octopus, very similar to the last one. Also has a high flex hose, a high visibility, but is again a little nicer. You just pull on the clip, specially made clip, and stick it in your mouth. If it comes on upside down, stick it in your mouth. No fumbling, no thinking, stick it in your mouth and start to breathe. It comes with this unique clip. It's actually quite nice. Clips on and off the BC very easily. Now, if you happen to have a modern BC that has one of these female clips on it, like so, you can use it if you would like. Octopus clips on there, that clip can be up above again. You pull on it, stick it in your mouth. So this is kind of the ultimate. Quick, easy, inexpensive, works every time, and, uh, and uh, just might make your dive a little more fun. Particularly if your buddy runs out of air. But we also sell dive knives, by the way. So if your buddy continually runs out of air, you might want to consider one of those. This is Alec Pierce. Talk to you soon. Hope you enjoyed this. Tech Tips.